Hi there. Today we'll be learning about the energy of systems and environments. You may have heard these terms previously in school and thought, what is energy? You wouldn't be the first. Understanding energy, being able to distinguish systems from their surroundings and determine the energies associated with them, is a crucial element of physics. This is what allows us to measure so many things and understand so many others. Let's learn about it. Fundamentally, energy describes the ability to do work. We use the standard index unit of joules to express energy. Energy exists within systems and environments. You may remember the law of conservation of energy, which states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, only converted from one form of energy to another. Systems, then, are specific objects or sets of objects, and environments are everything outside those systems. On the grand scale, the entire universe is the biggest system and environment we can imagine, but let's not get carried away. The energy of a system refers to the total energy within a particular object or the set of objects within the system. But the energy of the environment refers to the energies involved outside the system. In other words, it's important to understand your frame of reference. If we want to study one system within an environment, it will usually be helpful to assume that other systems within that environment form a coherent mass of energies rather than lots and lots of individual energies. Otherwise, studying the individual system can get overly complex. Kinetic energy, potential energy, and thermal energy all refer to energies within the system being referenced. Kinetic energy is the energy that objects have by virtue of their motion. They need to convert other forms of energy into kinetic energy. So a runner, for example, will need to convert the chemical energy of food and nutrients into the kinetic energy required to run. In turn, kinetic energy can be transformed into other forms of energy or passed on if the object collides with other objects. We can determine kinetic energy using mass m and velocity v in this formula, where k equals one-half mv squared. Contrary to kinetic energy, potential energy is energy that an object possesses by virtue of its position within something. Gravitational potential energy, for example, is the energy associated with an object.